What's going on YouTube? Sacred Sage here and today I'm going to go over the camera. Now the camera is very very important in every shot. So first of all you want to make sure that you're not in perspective mode. You always want to make a camera and you can make a camera just by clicking on this icon right here, naming it, and I always do the uh, copy active view and that puts the camera exactly where you're looking at. So if I am over here I can hit this camera and I can let's just name it it doesn't matter what you name it copy camera view bam now I move over here I go back over to camera 2 that I just created bam it is exactly where I was uh, currently at I already have a scene set up here and this is what it looks like right now I got two spotlights at 45 degree angles hitting her face and I got a camera in the front. A nice, nice little close-up. You can see the glint in the eyes. It looks, looks like a really, really good render. Now, how can we make this better? Just by messing with the camera. So, the camera has quite a few settings, and I use these settings all the time. So, if we select the camera, we got depth of field. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and turn depth of field on. And basically what that does is anything outside the range that I'm about to show you, it starts getting fuzzy. It brings attention to what is in between these lines. You see these two lines, this one and this one. Hallway is probably not the best scenario to show this, but whatever. So anything between those two lines is going to come in crystal clear. But anything outside of that is going to be fuzzy. So let's take a look now. When we look at the eye ray through the camera, you see how it's fuzzy because she's not in the actual view of that depth of field. So let's go back here and let's move this. So how you move this is through your focal distance. See, I move it downwards and it starts coming in. So now it's right around her face, but her face is not in between that. So what we're going to do, there's quite a few options you can use to, um, I guess, make that area larger is what you can say. So we can mess with the focal length. You see how it's getting wider by doing that. But we're not going to do it. We're not going to mess with that quite yet. So we'll go back to the default F-stop. F-stop widens this pretty drastically. So... What f-stop does is, the larger the number, the bigger the area. You've seen it kind of get a little bit bigger there. But it also means less fuzzy outside that area too. So, if you go like 50, it's not going to be that, that fuzzy. And it just gets less and less fuzzy the bigger you get. I normally, you know, sit around. It depends on how far and how much depth of field I want. So, normally on a single character, like model... I do around, you know, 22 to 30 caps or tops, right? Then from that point, we can mess with the focal length. So now we're making that focal length a little larger. But that messes with the perspective a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at our camera. Uh-oh. Now we're way, way the far back, right? That's not what we originally had. See, it used to look like this. But since we increased the the uh, focal length it doesn't so let me go back and do this again and now let's go back to the camera now you can mess with the frame width so let's adjust the frame width to where it looks like it was originally so now it looks like it was so you just gotta kinda mess with the the width and the length when you're trying to get them in that focus point See, it looks pretty. It looks pretty nice. One thing I will have to say is with the focal distance. You see this little green red triangle or cross, whatever. That is the center part of the focus. So if you have, let's say, two characters and one is on the edge of this little square, it's going to still probably be fuzzy because it's not near the the focal middle. 
So keep that in mind when you're creating shots. And that's where a lot of this F start stop comes into play. See, we let, let's jack this up. Bam. That increases it really drastically. So that's what I normally mess with. Once I got the shot, got the angle and whatnot, then I start messing with the F shop. Uh, F stop. So let's go ahead and look at other things that we can mess with in the settings. If you find that these squares blend in too well and you need to color code them per se, you can actually change those in the display. So the FOV color, as you can tell, is white. So let's change it. Bam, blue. And the panel color, let's go ahead and change to blue. You can just change all these. See as the colors are changing so that you can maybe see it a little bit better. Me, I just always keep it as white. That's just what works best for me. I got used to it. In the beginning, I used to mess with my eyes a little bit, but not so much anymore. Blades. So this is what blades are. Let's go ahead and do an eye ray of our image of our model. So the blades, what... When you mess with the blades, it messes with the the fuzziness, I guess, is the best way to put it. So the more you mess with this and throw those around, the fuzzier and different outcome that you get from um, the out of the depth of field. But I normally, I really don't mess with that too much. Most of the things that I mess with when I'm posing and doing stuff with the camera is always with this this panel right here in the camera i mess with every one of these in every single render to get the image and the look that i want headlamp you always want to make this thing starts out as auto and it's you can turn it off and it needs to be off but there's another where uh, another place that you can turn it off. I always have mine turned off in the render setting, so it doesn't even show up. So if you come over here and we go to was it general, auto headlamp never. This is the same. This is the same thing. So as long as one of those is off, because you don't want that headlamp, it really messes up renders. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, and I really really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on the camera. If you have any suggestions on what kind of video you want to see next leave a comment below let me know give a thumbs up if you like the video if you made it this far already i'm guessing you probably did like it uh, it really helps support the channel and hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to see more content as well until then i hope y'all guys have a fantastic day and take care